Hola clase y bienvenido a mi cocina. Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I would like to start with saying our date sentence. Hoy es, uh, hoy es viernes el 24 de abril. Hoy es viernes el 24 de abril. Today is Friday, the 24th of April. So let's count to 24. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte, veintiuno, veintidós, veintitrés, veinticuatro, Okay, so we have done the date. And um, first, before we start, um, I would like to thank the lovely PTO at St. Margaret Mary for surprising us today for teacher appreciation with these lovely signs and with the spirit wear. I'm so happy to have this. This was my first year at St. Margaret Mary and you guys made me feel so welcome. So thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> now you might be wondering what the, what in the world is Miss Valdez wearing on her head? What is Senorita Valdez wearing on her head? Hmm. Do you know what this week was supposed to be? Or this weekend rather? That's right. It was supposed to be Derby. Now we won't have derby until the fall, but I'm gonna go ahead and dress for the occasion since it's springtime. And I thought I'd wear my fascinator that I got last year. It's quite flashy, isn't it? I can wear this one, but I think since I'm going to read you a story today, I'm gonna wear one that's a little bit more practical. I have several to choose from. What do we think about this one? That better? Yeah, I think that one's a little bit more derby-ish. At least it doesn't hang in my eyes as much. Okay, so first grade. Last week we talked about a job that works with the human body. Now, since Derby is this week, the animal that we focus on the most is what? Un caballo. Un caballo. What, what animal do you think I'm talking about? If this week was supposed to be Derby, what animal do you think we'd be talking about the most? Un caballo. Can you say un caballo with me? That's right. That's the horse. Now, a horse, just like every other animal, has body parts just like people do. And there is also a person responsible for taking care of the animals and their bodies and their health as well. Do you know what that's called? That's right. It's a veterinarian, or in Spanish, veterinario. Veterinario. So we're going to read about the veterinario who cares for the bodies and health of our pets and all the animals. Hopefully my cat makes an appearance and we can talk about some of her different body parts too. All right. Cuando crezca será veterinario. When I grow up, I will be, or when Elmo grows up, he will be a veterinarian. Hmm. Visitar el zoológico es una gran idea. Visiting the zoo is a great idea. Elmo y Big Bird han ido tantas veces que ya saben el recorrido de memoria. So they've been so many times they know it by heart. I bet you have been to the Louisville Zoo a bunch and that you can find where all the animals are there. Ven animales extraños, otros grandes y divertidos y otros con mucho pelo. You can see um, sh uh, wild animals, rare animals, exotic animals, um, others that are 
big and also fun and then some with lots of hair. Ahora, ¿qué animales están viendo? What animals do you see here? What animals do you see here? Elefante. Can we say elefante? Flamenco. Flamenco. Leon. Leon. Those sound a lot like our words for those, right? Who else is an animal here? Well, that would be big bird. Big word. A Elmo le gustan tanto los animales que cuando crezca será veterinario. Elmo loves the animals so much that when he grows up, he's going to be a veterinarian. El veterinario es un médico de animales. Veterinarian is a doctor for animals. Atiende mascotas y también animales salvajes, como los del zoológico. So uh, they take care of uh, pets as well as wild animals. ¿Cuál es tu animal favorito? What is your favorite animal? Do you know how to say it in Spanish? Hmm. Mi animal favorito es un gato. My favorite animal is a cat. I also like buffalo or buffalo bison. I think they're cute. Even though they're really big and probably hairy and smelly, I think they're really cute. El veterinario examina a las mascotas de punta a punta. Revisa los ojos, la boca, la cola. Oh, what's la cola? We don't have a cola. What do you think this animal has that we don't? What would a cola be? It's the tail. Tail is cola. Can you say cola? Again, we see the word panza for belly. Remember that from last week? Panza means belly. And the real word, the technical word for that is estomago. Estomago, stomach, panza, belly. Por eso, en la escuela de veterinarios, él no estudia las partes del cuerpo del animal. So, the veterinarian examines all the parts of the body. Remember we said the eye? What else? The mouth, the tail. And for that reason, Elmo has to study all the parts of the animal's body. Observa, observe. Las está aprendiendo junto a sus amigos con la lámina de un tigre. So here he's learning with his friends the anatomy of, uh, of a tiger. Tigre is tiger. That sounds a lot like our word tiger, doesn't it? Tigre. Can you say tigre? Además, fíjate, ¿qué diferencias encuentras entre el tigre y el pez que tiene Elmo como mascota? What are the differences between the body of a tiger and that of a fish, el pez, el pez, el pez is fish. What is the difference between the body parts of the tigre and el pez, the fish, which is Elmo's pet? Hmm. Here we have bigotes, bigote. So bigote means mustache, but what do you think that would be on a cat or a dog? What, what looks like a bigote or a mustache that's on an animal like a cat? That's right, it's whiskers. Whiskers is bigotes. Can you say bigotes? Finally, we have the patas. Patas is what you call the feet or paws of an animal. Patas. Patas. Fun fact. It might sound really gross to some of you, but there is a soup in Mexico and in, uh, in Mexican-American culture uh, where it's popular to add patas de cochino on top. And what that means is you add pig feet. Now some parts of Kentucky even, people like to eat pickled pig feet. I'm not one of those people. But 
bought this is something that you can request to be put on your soup if you're eating menudo, which is a type of soup from Mexico or um, anywhere where Mexican Americans live. Yes. Patas. Patas. Miss Valdez trained her old dog how to give her paw to shake. I would say, dame una pata. Dame una pata. That means give me a paw. And she would do it. Dibuja animales. Draw animals. Tus papas podrán recortar cada figura y hacerles una perforación para pasar un cordón que las unir, unirá. Tendrás un móvil para tu habitación. So, this is, this is basically suggesting an activity for you. So, if you want to with your family, you can draw different pictures of different animals and label them in Spanish. And then string them, poke a hole in the top and string them along and hang them in your room so that you could see all the animals with their different names in Spanish. That would be cool. You would be making a mobile, like one that hangs above a baby's crib. And I invite you to do that if you are interested. If you do it, please take a picture and send it to me. Todos deben llevar a su mascota al veterinario. Al menos una vez al año. So everybody should take their pet to the vet um, at least once a year. Él les hace un control de rutina. He'll give a routine checkup. Similar al que el pediatra te hace a ti. Just like the pediatrician does for you. Mira, look. Lola ha llevado a su perro a una consulta con Elmo porque quiere que siempre esté sano y fuerte. So, Lola brought her dog to see Elmo to keep him, uh, to Elmo's clinic, to keep him safe and healthy. Uh, or healthy and strong, I should say. Fuerte means strong. Sano means healthy. ¿Ves cómo lo está revisando Elmo? Está controlando su peso. So they're weighing him right now. They're trying to, they're trying to see how much he weighs or she. I'm not, it looks like a she. It's got a bow in its hair. Observa el consultorio del veterinario Elmo y encuentra los objetos que usa para atender a los animales. So we're going to look at what tools um, the veterinarian Elmo uses to take care of the pets. Vendas or bandages. Camilla, again, uh, a cot or um, a hospital bed. Um, balanza, just like we use a balanza to weigh ourselves, a scale. You use a balanza to uh, weigh your pets. Estetoscopio. Estetoscopio, the same thing that we use to listen to heart and lungs of humans, we use uh, for pets, for animals. And finally, el termómetro. Termómetro. The thermometer takes the temperature. Un veterinario no solo atiende animales domésticos. So, you know, they don't just take care of domestic animals like pets. También cuida la salud de los animales salvajes como el león y de los de granja. So, veterinarians also take care of animals that are wild and that live on a farm. Una gallina. Una gallina. Where is the gallina? The gallina is... A, oh, there's not one in this picture. Gallina means chicken. It means hen. A, it is a girl chicken. Uh, una vaca. There is, a va there is a vaca here. Vaca is cow. Un puerco. <laughs> Un puerco. Un puerco. So puerco means pork. So earlier I said, um, I used the word cochino, which means pig. It is one of the words that means pig. And another word that they're using in this is puerco. They're actually calling it by the meat. We used to eat it. Pork. Pork. Por eso Elmo ha 
Kilo a una granja. For this reason, Elmo has gone to a farm. Observa, look. Los, an los animales lo están rodeando. So the animals are going all around. Están tan contentos que parecen querer comunicarse con él. They are so happy that they look like they want to talk to him. So these are the different sounds in Spanish. You know how we have different sounds that we say that animals have in Spanish? Like a cat says meow and a dog says ruff, ruff, or ruff, ruff, or bow wow or whatever word you want to use for a dog. There are several. Oink, oink, moo. Uh, again, the dog. <laughs> and the sound that a horse makes that I'm not going to do right now. <laughs> So apparently what a crow, uh, what a, a frog, a frog does croaking um, in Spanish is called croa, croa. And the pig squeals or grunts, which is called gruñe, gruñe. That sounds like grunt, right? The bird says peep peep or pia, pia. And... <laughs> The sound that a, a horse makes in Spanish, we say nay, they say relincha, relincha. Finally, uh, cacarea, cacarea is what a rooster says. Muje, muje, sounds like moo, that's what cows say. And ladra means to bark. Very cool, huh? All right, Pancho, this is Pancho. Contreras, that's his last name. Pancho Contreras quiere adoptar una mascota. So he wants to adopt a pet. Por eso ha ido a la veterinaria de Elmo. And for that reason, he's come to the veterinarian. I guess, I guess he also keeps an animal shelter there. Ahí, Él le muestra los animales que buscan a hogar. There he shows him all of the animals that are looking for a home. Además le explica que las mascotas requieren amor y atención. Also, he explains that pets require, they need love and attention. ¿Y qué para que no se enfermen? Se las debe vacunar. So, so they don't get sick, he gives them vaccines. ¿Qué otros cuidados necesitan los animales? What other, what other care do we need to give animals? Hmm. So over here we have vacunas. Vacunas means vaccine. This bathtub is called el aseo. Food, alimento. They need a, ba a bath or a aseo. Alimento or food and who get this some animals like to have toys or many animals like to have toys All right, entre los animales que Elmo tiene en su veterinaria hay uno que es muy extraño Descúbrelo. Okay, so out of all of the animals that he has here There is one that's strange. There's one that's uh, exotic Una pista Tiene pinzas. ¿Y tú? ¿Tienes una mascota? Do you have a pet? How do you say that pet in Spanish? If you don't have a pet, what pet would you like to have in Spanish? What is your favorite animal in Spanish? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have my asistente, Alistair, can you get Winnie and get her to come here? We're gonna we're gonna point out her different body parts. Can can you get Winnie? Where's Winnie? Mi gato se llama Winnie. My cat's name is Winnie. Winnie. We're gonna go find her. We'll be right back. Ooh. sound did she make? She's not, <laughs> she's not having it. Let's see if we can calm her down. She might not be willing to let us identify her different body parts in Spanish today. What is 
this? How do we say that in? The paw. That's, That's the paw. Pata? <laughs> what about these things up here? What is she here with? That's called orejas. We have orejas too, right? And finally, what is this thing growing out of the back of her spine? It's long and it swishes. It's That's right. It's a cola. Alistair, can you say cola? Cola. Cola. That means tail in Spanish. Okay, clase. Gracias. Buen fin de semana. Los extraño mucho. I miss you very much. Have a good weekend. Um, adios.